active fault line, hurricane force winds, and the mafia have in common? Well, this just happens to be the scenario of the exact spot where Italy wants to build the world's longest suspension bridge. Ah, Italy, where every slice of pizza tells a story and every cobblestone street whispers secrets of centuries past. There's a new narrative unfolding, a tale of ambition and challenge amidst the aroma of simmering tomato sauce and bubbling cheese. Picture this, a grand vision of a bridge spanning the azure expanse, linking Sicily to the mainland in a momentous union. Yet, this isn't your typical bridge building story. It's more akin to navigating through levels of a challenging video game, filled with obstacles at every turn. Hurricane winds threaten to dismantle progress. Seismic tremors test the very foundations and lurking in the shadows. The ominous presence of organized crime casts a shadow of uncertainty. But amidst this chaos, there's a beacon of hope. The resilient spirit of the Italian people, the ingenuity of their craftsmanship, and their unwavering determination to overcome adversity. So, what's the scoop? Well, Italy's got its sights set on constructing the world's longest suspension bridge, linking Sicily to the mainland. Sounds impressive, right? Hold on to your hats, because Sicily isn't exactly known for its tranquil weather conditions. We're talking hurricane force winds and an ever active fault line. Oh, and did I mention the potential interference from the mafia? It's like trying to build a delicate Lego tower right in the middle of a raging storm of children at Disney's Legoland. Imagine the chaos. Now you might be wondering, how in the world do they plan to tackle such a Herculean task? Well, my friend, that's precisely what we're here to uncover. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey into the tumultuous saga of the Strait of Messina Bridge. And be sure to watch until the end, because that's where the juiciest part of the story is. What, or should I say who, is lying in wait to derail this project. You don't want to miss the best part. But before we delve into the nitty gritty details, let's acquaint ourselves with Sicily. Home to approximately 5 million inhabitants, this Mediterranean gem is more than just a picturesque island. It's a vibrant hub of agricultural activity, renowned for its wines, bountiful fishing grounds, and thriving tourism industry. In essence, it's the life of the party contributing significantly to Italy's GDP. However, despite its allure, accessing Sicily isn't as straightforward as hopping on a scooter and zipping across. Oh no, it involves a time-consuming ferry ride, chipping away at your precious vacation hours just to traverse a mere three kilometers of water. Talk about throwing a wet blanket on your holiday plans. So, why the delay in constructing a bridge or tunnel, you ask? Well, it's like procrastinating on a daunting DIY project. You know it's necessary, but the sheer magnitude of the endeavor is enough to make anyone hesitate. Yet, with the promise of immense economic, social, and logistical benefits that come with seamlessly connecting Sicily to the mainland, the question remains, what's holding them back? And if you're as intrigued by this epic saga of bridge building, engineering marvels, and the occasional run-in with the mafia as we are, then you won't want to miss a single update. Subscribe to the channel now to stay in the loop. I'm releasing more videos this month than ever, and you don't want to miss them. So please press those like and subscribe buttons now. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. Italian history, where even ancient Romans were flexing their engineering muscles with makeshift bridges. So picture this, it's 252 BCE, and old Roman consul Metellus is like, Hey, let's build a bridge to Sicily. And voila, floating barrels and pieces of wood later, they've got themselves a bridge fit for war elephants. Yep, you heard that right. War elephants strolling across the strait like it's no big deal. Talk about making an entrance. But let's fast forward a bit. Over the centuries, there have been more bridge ideas thrown around than there are flavors of gelato at the Gelato Festival World Masters. In 1969, they even had an international design competition. But it was all just a fancy way of saying, nah, not gonna happen. Some folks got really wild with it, suggesting underwater tunnels 
like the one connecting Great Britain to the mainland. But alas, the currents and depths of the Strait of Messina had other plans. Then, in 1981, the Messina Strait Company rolls into town like the cavalry, tasked with the Herculean job of actually making this bridge dream a reality. And boy, did they take their sweet time. 30 years later, after more planning than a Roman conquest, they finally had a detailed plan. Talk about a slow burn, but hey, who's counting the years when you've got a shiny new bridge on the horizon? Better late than never, right? All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to dive into the specs of this bad boy, the Strait of Messina Bridge. We're talking about a bridge so epic, it's like the Michelangelo's David of bridges towering, impressive, and probably not wearing any pants. So let's break it down, shall we? First off, we've got the length. At a whopping 3,300 meters, this bridge isn't just breaking records, it's obliterating them. Say goodbye to the current champ, the Kanakale Bridge in Turkey, because this bad boy is about to steal its thunder and then some. And don't even get me started on the towers, 382 meters tall, making them taller than the Empire State Building. That's right, folks. We're talking about towers so high, you might need oxygen tanks just to reach the top. But wait, there's more. Not content with just being the longest and tallest bridge in the world, this masterpiece will also snag the title of Italy's tallest structure ever. Talk about reaching for the stars, or in this case, the clouds. Now let's talk logistics. This bridge isn't just for show, it's got a job to do. Connecting Torre Faro in Sicily with Villa San Giovanni on the mainland, it's going to turn a 40-minute ferry ride into a quick four-minute drive. That's right, you could practically blink and miss it. And with the capacity to handle 6,000 vehicles per hour and 200 trains a day, it's like Grand Central Station on steroids. But here's the kicker. This bridge isn't just about convenience. It's about preserving marine life, too. By keeping most of the construction above water, we're minimizing our impact on the local underwater ecosystem. No sea monsters named Scylla or Charybdis here. Just smooth sailing for everyone involved. So, why hasn't construction started yet, you ask? Well, it all boils down to one word. Politics. So, the saga of the Strait of Messina Bridge continues. It's been a roller coaster ride of abandoned plans, dashed hopes, and more political drama than a season of House of Cards. So let's unpack why this bridge has been stuck in limbo for what feels like an eternity. Picture this. Detailed plans laid out in 2006. Everyone's pumped, ready to roll up their sleeves and get to work. But then, reality hits like a ton of bricks with a massive fault line lurking beneath and funds as scarce as hen's teeth. The project gets tossed around the Italian parliament like a hot potato for the next 17 years. Yup, you heard that right? 17 years of bureaucratic red tape and empty promises. It got so bad that folks started using the phrase, I'll do it when the bridge to Messina is finished, as a metaphor for when pigs fly. Yeah, it became the epitome of something that's never gonna happen. But hold on to your hats, because in 2024, the impossible might just become possible. After decades of nail-biting anticipation, the Italian government finally gave the green light. Cue the confetti, folks, because it's officially a historic day for Italy, at least according to the infrastructure minister. Construction is set to kick off in June 2024 with a jaw-dropping price tag of $12.7 billion. But hey, even with all the paperwork sorted, there's still one tiny itsy bitsy hurdle left, actually building this monstrosity. So you've got this perfect spot for a bridge, strategically connecting Sicily to the mainland. It's basically the golden ticket of locations, right? Well, not quite. Because lurking beneath the surface lies a little geological surprise a fault line between the African and Eurasian plates. Back in 1908, this fault line decided to flex its muscles with a magnitude 7.1 earthquake, 
wreaking havoc and causing devastation on both sides of the strait. And guess what? The epicenter was smack dab where they're planning to build this bridge. But fear not, my friends, because engineers aren't ones to shy away from a challenge. They've got a few tricks up their sleeves to tackle seismic forces like a boss. First off, those massive towers, they're strategically placed on land for extra stability, like a cat clinging to a scratching post during a storm. Plus, they're fitted with hourglass-shaped struts, allowing the bridge to do a little earthquake dance without breaking a sweat. And let's not forget about the length of the deck itself. Over three kilometers of bendy goodness, perfect for distributing stress like a pro. But wait, there's more. Remember those gale force winds that love to wreak havoc in narrow spaces? Yeah, they're a real pain in the you-know-what for suspension bridges. But fear not, because this bridge isn't your average Joe. Nope, it's been designed to be as aerodynamic as a fighter jet. Those three box girders, they're not just for show. They're tapered to deflect crosswinds like a boss. With a design like that, experts say this bridge could handle winds stronger than a hurricane. Talk about a breath of fresh air. Even with all the engineering wizardry in the world, there are some challenges that just can't be solved with fancy equations and blueprints alone. Yep, we're talking about those pesky social and political hurdles that seem to pop up like weeds in a garden. Yes, we've saved the juiciest tidbit for last, folks. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say, the mafia. Yep, we're diving headfirst into the murky waters of organized crime and its potential impact on the Messina Strait Bridge project. So, here's the lowdown. Sicily and Calabria, the two regions this bridge will be connecting, aren't exactly rolling in dough. In fact, they're the poster children for economic hardship, with the most impoverished GDP per capita in Italy. And where there's poverty, there's often organized crime enter the mafia. We're talking about the big leagues here, the Sicilian Cosa Nostra and the Calabrian Ndrangheta, two infamous organizations known for their iron grip on everything from businesses to, you guessed it, construction projects. With a project of this scale, it's like ringing the dinner bell for these guys. They've got their hands in everything, from transport to supply chains, and they're not afraid to play dirty. But fear not, because Italy's got a plan. According to Matteo Salvini, the infrastructure minister and chief architect of the project, they're not about to let the mafia rain on their parade. They've got measures in place to ensure that only the best companies get to work on the bridge and they're ready to tackle any shady business head on. But hey, enough about the mafia. Let's talk about the bridge itself. Will it actually see the light of day this time around? It's been a long and bumpy road, but with the recent green light from the government, things are looking up. So what do you think, folks? Is the Messina Strait Bridge destined for success or are we in for another round of political drama? Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons now, and I'll see you in the next video. See you in the next video. See you in the next video.